Now we're ready to start chasing. Uh, first I'd like to show you the tool and I have a little magnifying glass so that you can see what this looks like. This is uh, a piece of tool steel which I have tapered at the ends like this and then given it a little curved uh, very sharp end uh, that is sort of like uh, an axe head. It has a, a, a slight curve in it so that it moves while you are tapping it with the hammer. Now I'm going to do the work, uh, the first work on this sandbag. This is just a sandbag here and it has the advantage of being able to you know, take shapes so that I can hold the cup at the proper angle for doing uh, my chasing. I can see the uh, scratch marks where my design is going to go and all I have to do is put the uh, cup in here and this will hold the cup uh, steady. Now, when you're chasing, you want to hold the tool vertically on the piece and we're going to use a chasing hammer. Now the chasing hammer has a flat head like this so it can deliver uh, a good uh, stroke without knocking your tool off of or out of alignment. It has a nice weight and the handle has this uh, sort of round shape which fits in my hand like this and I'm basically just sort of dropping the hammer onto the tool. So to start I will set the end of my tool. I can feel it very easily you know, where the scratch is and then just start tapping on top and the tool should move along the line while I tap. You can always lift your tool to see the line that you're putting in and then put the tool back in. And you should frequently check just to make sure that you're actually on, on, on the design line. And as your line starts to curve and go around the surface, I'm going to be turning the cup and trying to keep the topmost part of the area of the cup where I'm working. So. If you veer off your line just a little bit, you can make some corrections, you know, when we're starting to actually do the sculpture in the cup. But you want to keep it as close as you can to your, your design line. And you notice that I'm always turning the, uh, turning the cup so that I'm bringing the chasing tool towards me. Uh, when I was first taught, they wanted me to use the tool in a line going across like this, but I couldn't see where it was really going. And I developed this other technique of putting this, uh, the tool so that I can see the line coming toward me. And you notice that I'm also, when I'm holding the tool, I'm resting my fingers on the cup here so that I have you know, good support for uh, and 
placement so that the tool doesn't slide off. the end of this line almost there and now I'll start the leaf in the center here Don't want to slip like that because, like, you can put a little, you know, mark in there. But I know this is all going to go back, so I'm not too worried about, you know, that little extra cut there. Okay, now we're down to the, the first design element is in. So I'll work my way around the cup and then we'll get on to the, the next step here. Mm -hmm. 